WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the upside. Dow's up 106, S&P 15, NASDAQ 59, the Russell's up 7, all about three-tenths of a percent. Semis are up about one and about about a little over one-tenth of a percent. That would be seven points the upside. Don't worry, I'll squeeze it out. 56 points for the trannies. Gold's up five bucks. Silver's down 16 pennies. Light sweet crude is off 20 cents. Natural gas is flat. 30-year treasury printed out at 119.05. Basically, a flat move there. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini, upper left-hand side. Not much has changed. We've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top that formed with that bearish shooting star back on March the 21st. Pretty much has led to just a sideways-type move. Price is still above resistance levels, the resistance of the top of its daily profile. But it did run into its oscillator and change like the 5301 area out there. We take a look at the spot volatilities. It is still below its 50-day exponential moving average, trading below yesterday's low. So at this stage here, all of that looks good for the S&P 500. The NQ, same kind of pattern as the uh, as the ES. It's got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. It has just led to a sideways move out there, so no big deal. Now support, if we were to get a thump to the downside, would be down at 18,158. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it has going to it's going to complete a TD nine count top today. That should that should suggest that price should pull back further. A price target here, I would say, would be the 103.32 to 103.03 level. That happens to be the center and bottom of its weekly profile. Goldilocks, we've rolled this over to the June contract. April still is out there. Uh, this is consolidating with inside its daily profile. Support at 21.6080, so that's a new level for you to write down on your pad of paper. And 22.2330 is the top of that profile. Again, that's for the June contract. Silver is consolidating with inside its profile. Support at 24.36, resistance at 25.51. Light sweet crude has a sell the D point pattern. Price has not been able to even get below the center of its bullish structure daily profile. Its buy zone is between 79.11 and 80.44. Resistance up at 83.12. Natural gas, don't know what to tell you here. It still has a buy the D point pattern, but it is not doing too much. It's certainly not following along with the seasonal structure that is out there. And finally, if we take a look at 30 year treasury, it's trading still below on my black background screens, below the bottom of its daily profile. Any rally should find resistance between 120.23 and 121.04. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show, but if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.